Welcome to Wesak full moon, Scorpio full moon. It's good to get some water and also an essential oil. Just a few more minutes. 
but I'm so grateful that you are joining us and all those that are here with us and will be listening to this. It's a great opportunity in this WESAC full moon. I'd like to recommend to bring some water. The more water you have, the more it's going to help the cleansing and the purification part. And we all need more water. And then I always recommend having an essential oil, like I'm, I'm bringing um, Young Living Awaken, right? That's the oil we want. So here we begin. I'm just gonna read you a little preview about what we'll roughly be doing because I'll be direct channeling. And as those of you who know me, it's really an interesting ride through the different multidimensionality of what we really are, who we really are living as, as multidimensional beings and opening up these gateways. My name is Anjalia Marisa Sheehan or Anjalia Kate Loy, and I'm here for ascension and to assist to, to wake up. That's my intense pleasure and passion. Like how can I help you wake up so we can all wake up? And so on this journey, I'll also be doing some light language with an overlay system. And that's gonna be interesting. And um, as you, know me as Anjali, a cosmic shaman, your favorite cosmic shaman. Some of the gifts that I bring from my presence to this work is um, being a seer. And being a seer, I have come to understand, allows me to see images. And I follow these images because these images are brought from source or God or the ascended masters working with us so that I can help interpret them. And it's part of my job as an interpreter, being a seer, being um, a master seer even. And it allows me to see these images and read them, read them for the consciousness. Cause the work I'm doing really here is to help with consciousness. And where we're going is this Christed return, right? Which. Uh, this is a particularly auspicious time period of the WESAC time period because it's when the Buddha not only was born, but he gained enlightenment under the Bodhi tree and he also passed. So it shows his mastery that he could orient all these auspicious occasions. And um, so we'll be going with Pegasus into the WESAC Valley and the Scorpio full moon, the Scorpio is like shadow aspects. So some of you may have been feeling shadowy, like when I've been meditating, it's almost like there's a lot of the old separation karma, the separation worries, let's call it. They, they're floating up. And then part of our mastery and part of our new earth shaman um, training for each one of us, which is the Christed I am training basically, is to remember who we are and what we want to willfully bring through with divine will, releasing our own personal will into that flowing um, resurgence into the, like it's called the eternal realm. And I did these two soul collages. And this one, one is a cosmic serpent, which is so prevalent for all of us as we're returning into who we came here to be and birthing this is like birth and also being held by the divine mother in the hand which is part of our work in this journey and then this is what i call the eternal realm it's such a good when i see the eternal realm it's this golden and black oceany realm and <laughs> it's so hard to explain all these things but as we we grow in this golden frequency, we merge with the dark and the light, and we see everything as part of the whole picture that is source. And that's our larger picture journey together, 
where we remember who we are, we remember each other, we remember as each of us as a reflection, and that we're on this great journey with source, with connection, with the masters, with the angels. And we'll be working with all these levels in our journey today. So I'll just read you a little preview before we begin. And um, we'll be uh, 90 minutes. So we'll be lovingly guided through a release of the old and the unfinished, the tarnished or the unaligned in the Scorpio moon. And we'll be letting go of old contracts that are complete in this cycle. So it's really good to just review your year and let go of those things that maybe didn't complete or they weren't really working and give, give yourself almost like the clean slate so that you have more room so that you can open up these new contracts. And so then we'll be receiving and surrendering to new patterns downloads by the Buddhic realms, Christ realms, and the angelic realms. Mostly we'll be working with the Buddhic realm, which is um, where we'll be going with the Shambhala and the Wisak. So we'll be journeying um, to the Wisak Valley. And I already know Pegasus is going to take us. And we'll be activating and active, we'll receive activations and gifts given to us by Lord Buddha and um, Master Lady Kuan Yin, Bodhisattva Kuan Yin. And we'll be being showered by cosmic rays of the Ascended Masters or other beings, unicorns, whoever comes in. Transparent light fey beings are going to bring us elixirs of revitalization. And Lord Buddha will open a doorway of this heavenly ascent. Kuan Yin will bring us medicine from her gourd that marries and merges our hearts and our minds. And I always feel like this, the full moon is really this marriage. When I used to do full moon sound journeys, the, the full moon was this amazing marriage of the solar sun, the father, shining on the mother, grandmother moon, and the reflection of the sun on the feminine. Um, so it was a perfect marriage. And so often the full moon will bring up that which is not, in my personal humble view, brings up that which is not in accordance with this marriage, let's say. And that's, again, part of our, our journey today is to work with that almost like washing. <laughs> We're doing a, a cosmic wash. And Pegasus will give us a ride to another dimension in our future to foretell our next step. We'll be opening your doorway of your heart mind that's in buddhism it's called the heart mind and your mind just melts into your heart and that's your guidance system and it's where your christ that i am lives and into your counterpart of this divine pathway ahead we'll be sharing all we receive with our loved ones with our ancestors with our enemies with our communities with all those who need help on this earth and with mother earth herself and that is part of our planetary service as a collective consciousness and that's why i am extremely grateful and privileged to be in a working dynamic situation and bringing these to you because you're part of this work and without you we can't do it you're part of the puzzle pieces of the great textile that we are weaving and so we we're grateful for all the bridges that you are and the surrogates that you are, the light workers, the star seeds, the way showers of the new earth shaman and the new earth starship. So let's begin. So just take a deep breath in. And if you want to, you can smell the essential oil and it's an old meditation remembrance from deep inside of me, like incense or essential oils. And they move right up into your olfactory and help you with ascending into your higher consciousness for your meditations. So it's, it's really a tool. So just taking a deep breath in. Let us send our heart beams to one another. 
as we open a great heart portal around us. And we call in a beautiful protective anchoring golden pyramid around our sacred ceremony. And we ask to open a temple. A temple of Shambhala. As we call in the Holy Mothers, the Great Mothers. We call in the Holy Fathers, the Great Fathers. Creator, Great Creator, all that there is. Mother, Father, God, Goddess, Gaia, Sophia, Divine Child that you are. We call upon you now. As we call upon the Buddhic realms, the Christed realms, the angelic and the archangelic realms, and the magical and the inner earth and middle earth realms. As we call in the special emissary team, as well as the light ships and the earth ships, the galactic federation, creation mothers, the void all mothers, as we open now a spiritual portal above you and our teams are all around us. Breathing into your Christed I am in the center of your heart, this flame that is threefold. It is always merging and marrying, balancing, harmonizing, aligning to your truth. And to the reflection that you are. And we ask for the most ascended, highest help with this journey for your ascension path ahead, for the clarity, the wisdom, the self-knowing, the honesty and the genuineness that is already who you are, beloved ones. Let us breathe in more deeply now into the earth portal beneath your feet grounding this pillar, the sacred pillar that you are, your masculine, your feminine pillar, your soul, your spiritual, your spirit pillar, galvanizing as you anchor this bridge that you are and the service that you choose. Opening and now expanding the flame in your heart in all directions. In front to the loving gateway. Breathing that love back into your heart. And out behind you. To the gateway truth and wisdom behind you. Breathe in and all the medicine and the wisdom of your multidimensionality and into your heart again, your Merkaba of light. Each breath is in tuned to ignite you, activate you. Every inhale, accepting you, every exhale, releasing that which is not you, anything that is 
holding you back or limiting you or shadowing, not your truth. As we breathe now above you to the heavenly realms, breathing that back down into your heart. And to the left, to the feminine gateway, breathing in all the strength and power of the feminine into your heart, stream, current. And we go now to the right, to the masculine principles and all their masculine principles, bringing them back into your heart medicine. Now breathing below you into the earth, the grounding, the anchoring of all that you are. This new earth plan, this blueprint, this journey. That we are on together. Opening now this expansion as a wave of light comes to you now. are sitting in service in your temple. Take a deep breath in to this more expanded you, more elevated you. As we call now for our guidance, our journey to begin. Pegasus is coming on the right from above to take our pod as we become a group, Merkaba, of consciousness. And Pegasus begins to fly in a circular fashion, creating a vortex. And we were filing into this vortex that is part of our shape shifting program. And as we are moving into this circular collective consciousness. Babaji is in the Himalaya and has come out of his cave. Beloved Babaji, floating in lotus position, 
very slim with only a loincloth, long beard. He is overseeing our project, your path ahead. He is looking as a visionary to the future for all that we are doing here and our planetary work. He is nodding his head and he's thankful as he's honoring the work we are doing and this ongoing project. And also working with the portals, he says. We are stirring a great cosmic pot. And he is here to share this as we each need to know that this is happening, this is the truth. The encouragement. He shows us a sign of a flaming heart of courage. It shifts from well-known images of a flaming heart. And it shifts and shapes and shape shifts also within your own heart. As this is Essential, he says, important. Without this courageous heart that knows deeply from within it knows from deeply within the very beginning of your soul's journey And what it is, your mission, your purpose that you came here to claim in this lifetime during this ascension, this golden Aquarian age of enlightenment. There's a great field and a great force growing within you. You may feel it as pulsations and tinglings. Breathe deeply as this is your birthright, he says, your knowingness. It's your to anchor this. This angelic Christ or Buddhic nature. That you each hold a precise precision, precision piece of the cog that is the wheel that moves the divine plan. Buh. 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 
you're meeting Bleh. obstacles and Bleh. held the beliefs. My left hand is held in a fist Bleh. where places are in fisticuffs within you. Fisticuffs. Bleh. Types of wrestling and knots. Bleh. <laughs> and as you know, breathe into these places and breathe them out as not your truth. You may burp or yawn or purge. This is the plan. Reach out, reach deep, beloved ones. Find that which is formidable, <laughs> hidden from a child. Those shadow <laughs> aspects. <laughs> we call them forward in our sacred <laughs> ceremony. <laughs> As we and this. Find counsel, are here to honor them, bring them home, show them the way, if they so choose. <laughs> it is a recalibration. <laughs> that all things are called forward. Evolution moves forward. It does not stand still, <laughs> you see. <laughs> Many aspects are in conversation or discussion or ramblings <laughs> we are allowing them in our collective cosmic soup pot to merge and marry <sighs> calling in the reflection that is their medicine in this holy full moon this holy Scorpio, we sack full moon. As the Buddha is also now a very big face looking at us, looking upon us, smiling deeply with a Buddhic smile as things are releasing. And he shows us the thought form of the Bodhi tree. The silent contemplation of the miracle of reflection. He says, did you not choose this earth? This plane of reflection. <laughs> Remember that. Why would you have chosen this plane of reflection? If it were not a great conspiracy of reunion. <laughs> the Buddha says there is a premise that things should be all love and light and kindness. <sighs> And he says, is that the way it is? 
or is it the journey of this reflection? The scene, the reflection, the shadow alighting in the light of the moon. the outline, the permission of the insight. Take a deep breath in. It is the love. The compassion. the pink flame within you that merges and marries with the golden wisdom knowledge flame. And begets the blue creation, current, of that innate power. It is the self-reflecting reflection that brings the deeper knowing, the resolution of the conflicts and the difficulties, the relations, the communion that indeed we are all in communion. As now the hemispheres of the brain are balancing. The pineal, cleansing, breathing into the pineal in your brain, As a corridor opens now, as the pineal begins to radiate from within rainbow light, and the corridor, a doorway of white light opens into this corpus callosus, this white corridor between the two hemispheres of your brain. Flooding with white light, corporeal light, all knowing, all loving, all seeing and hearing and being. smoothing the pathways of these corridors. <sighs> Releasing and surrendering. It's Kuan Yin enters floating on a lotus pink lotus cloud with a deep blue medicine gourd in her right hand and a crystal lid in the shape of a flame 
on top of it. And she comes to each of you and pours this elixir into your crown, your brow chakra, the pineal, into the corridor of the Corpus Colossus, a lightning liquid, a universal communicator, lightning liquid elixir. Breathing in to this important pathway Allowing this merging within all the chakras of your body, the systems, the nadis, the strange flows, the ida, the pinyali. Through the diamond plates of your light body. Opening a diamond plate synthesis that all these dynamic plates within your light body begin to whirl and sing. chant, attune and collaborate. A realignment, a reattunement. As many celestial Clair audience, clairvoyant. Celestial beings of light, a fairy brigade. begin to dance around you with magical wands. Giving you each halos.
Again, we are being swirled now as we've been raised in our consciousness and Pegasus is taking us to the Wiesack Valley. First, we must continue our release, our letting go, purging. As Pegasus takes us to this rainbow waterfall, and we each stand before this rainbow waterfall. portal that is an attunement of Havasu Falls and Grand Canyon. It leads you here to an entranceway So stand with your feet in the waters. As the water begins to sparkle and glow and move up your feet like sprites again, as these tiny fey beings are working with the water once more and up through our entire bodies our light bodies, our chakras, cleaning, clearing and refreshing our crystalline bodies as we now stand crystalline, a crystalline matrix in our blood, in our bones, in our DNA. Take a deep breath in. As this refreshes your immune system. and your health. And now we ask that this continues to work within each of you in the exact divine timing needed as it could go on for quite many hours. But as we are time shapers and travelers, we may continue as well as work. As we stand still before this great waterfall, rainbow waterfall, we call to the guardians, And there are great crystal bean guardians on either side of the waterfall. And there are very tall fey also behind us, the she, as well as the small sprite fey, a magical brigade as they announced. Very like Lord of the Rings. And opening into your heart, with a sacredness and an honor of these beings, let us bow to these guardians, to the Fae, to the She, 
deeply honoring them and thanking them for joining us. Bowing in the deepest places of your being. And calling to them for your assistance as the human surrogates on this project. Part of the alliance of light. Part of the Ashtar. A star grows in your heart, aligning you as your ears begin to peak. <laughs> Beautiful robes upon you are given. Zalu Tanahina Halu. We are seen as beings of light, bearers of light, as also part of a brigade of light. The guardians say, You are welcome. Please join us and their arms come out behind us and like bring us all into this waterfall and through the waterfall. We are being covered almost like it's glistening colors, almost like watercoloring or oils of different colors all over our being. And it's something that is as if we are being reborn with these, this amniotic fluid, but that's rainbow amniotic fluid. And it has this unparalleled sense as we have not felt this. And this one, Anjalia, has not felt this before. Just allowing this Unforming, they call it. We're unforming the formed that you previously were. And it takes a courageous heart, beloved ones. The unforming. So we're moving into this unforming plasma rainbow lack of sight, emptiness, and waiting here. In the emptiness. In this universal starry night that we are in. Allow your heart and your mind to embrace this starry night, these universal codes and connecting in your heart that there's a small star that was that star that came in, that's the star that you are, that's the star portal you came from, that's the star family and lineage that is part of your work, your heritage. Part of your empowerment. Is returning. As these are from enlightened star lifetimes that you may call upon once illumined. A star tetrahedron before your brow chakra enters into your brow as a linear form 
sacred geometry, recalibration, Breathe deeply into your hearts now as an ancient longing is beginning to arise. You may feel it like a sadness or a happiness or a sad happiness or a clog in your throat or your thymus or your brow. Breathe into it to know it, to understand it with the courageous heart in this reforming, new crystalline, unborning, reborning, before that star being. Bay being. And the magic that you carry. This is something that you have each privately, secretly hoped for, ask for, come here for. This magic. Many are coming now to reweave this. And we will sing light language against the rite ahaluna, juda reinga tayena, rezuzuzuzu tayena tehene. Janalu donetemu tu yalo tali Haluna na yele umma Ala lele umma mana Karatana tatanta turata 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 returning now Grasp this now and pull it forth inside you to your heart. Hold it, grasp it, pull it in, hold it, grasp it, pull it in. Yes, you not call to the other. Hold, hold, hold this light of and like a night and call it in. Receptivity <coughs> chakra at the left ear Buh. is unplugged. <laughs> Transmission chakra at the right ear. <laughs> <laughs> Buh. 
softened. <laughs> Allowed. Resonating. Deeply now. Deeply now. Deeply now. The left and the right. Transmission chakras begin to circle and open. The transmission crystals in the circles around your brow chakra, the telepathic circle of the halo, the crystals of communication. <sighs> Blowing into each flame, each Christed flame, igniting, igniting all of your telepathic crystalline chakras. Breathing in, breathing in. Smoothing now. The crown chakra, halo of crystals. Breathing and blowing into the flame within each crystal. Igniting these flames. Oh yeah. Feeling the light shift and shape open. This crown. Crystal halo. <sighs> Now let us go to the soul star above this halo of crystal. Communication chakras. Blowing into each flame, to the Christed flame. So there's no interference. Let us open as many of these halos as your expanded nature will accept. Bringing all the openings again to this new understanding of the light that you are. With these enlightened beings all around you, guiding, cheering, encouraging you forward, accepting you, honoring you in this sacred ceremony in this temple. Now we are being drawn in this ceremony to this crystal that is in the center of our ceremony, our temple. We are standing in a very, very high place. In the Himalaya. Above the snow peaks, the Chundras. Above the mist.
And we are flooded with this enlightened frequency, glyphs of light language, downloading this matrix. these new encodements. As we look in the center and there is a giant crystal on top of a lotus inside a steaming watery alive ocean. And we gather around in a circle with all of the masters around us behind us in the brigades of light bay. And we look deep, deep, deep into this crystal. And we see many things as the mist begins to clear. Many other beings that we are connected to, that are part of our star lineage, or our heritage, or our ancestry. And when you look in and you begin to feel, it's like a vein, veins of our body, of our system, that the blood, the crystalline new blood is flowing through. And as we begin to sense that the sense of the veins inside this crystal, it, it is growing into almost like a mother, a mother being before us. It's like a tree stump and we're connected and our feet are becoming part of and it's all in the creation. And it's moving as a creative being that's connecting us in this very now moment in this ceremony to all of our lineages, to the web of life, the field that we are a part of. This crystalline structure is moving through us as we're calling to gift this to all that we are connected and attuned to. This greater sense of purpose is beginning to flow within our veins and our inner knowing. As we are weaving like a great matrix of a Celtic plan, the knots of things and how it's began and where it will never end. <laughs> and we are beginning to smile from inside, inside of all of our organs with smiles. And that all the beings and masters and enlightened ones around us are smiling with us. And even if you don't know why you're smiling, smile. <laughs> As there's a greater sense of the calling of the reflection that we have asked for the medicine of the separation. The calling back through the calling forth, through the cosmic rebirth and the planting of the seed that is you, that are growing inside of your own womb inside your own creation matrix, this beautiful seed of life inside of you. Breathing into this creation matrix that you are building, that we are building, connected through your star nature, through your creation, through your lineage, through your DNA, through your heritage, through your cosmic point 
of connection. to expand, expand, expand. Sharing this with your loved ones, your family, your parents, your uncles, your aunts, grandchildren, the children, the neighbors, the community, the strangers, the lost ones, the enemies. Through all countries and nations, through the galaxy, the cell story, the universe. opening gateways, doorways, where love may shine, where honoring each as a reflection. We go portal to portal over this vast earth, sharing your cosmic puzzle piece, your mission. your crystalline DNA. Daluth halo sanatai saya chai chai mai halo tono huma halo tono huma ne halo ne halo ne halo na halo na ai e chicken ne su chine tana ne kuma and as we go now back to this crystal and before us, this giant growing crystal, we look deep in it one more time in the pool inside this crystal. It's in the center of our circle, looking deep, 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 deeper and deeper and deeper with your third eye, your brow chakra. And look into who you are, your star seed. and into you and your true nature, your eternal reflection. As you look deeper and deeper now, a matrix of your Buddha nature, your many lives of incarnation of enlightenment flash before you. And 
giving a certain wisdom, a certain understanding, a certain awareness of that this is your birthright. This is a ticket, we say. A ticket to know thyself once more. But it can't be that hard if you've done it this many other times. It's allowing that inner smile to come back now. That inner trust, that inner faith. Allowing in the inner gratefulness that you have received this enlightening empowerment, this new encodement, this rebirth, an accelerated acceptance. Brought to you through these Buddhic realms this we sack ceremony. Allowing now a shape shifting, a forming that is coming into form. And again, we give it grace, love and honor as it will have its own divine timing. Yet we say that this is a reflection of you, we say, it is an attunement of you. It is a grace of yours. It is driven by grace. The great Buddha comes now and brings a scarf of gold and yellow. So he is sitting on a cloud and he is bringing it up to us in this temple. And each one of you is receiving this golden scarf around your neck. And in the woven matrix of the textile is an encoded message woven just for you. It comes from these enlightened realms and will guide you and assist you. along your ascension pathway. It is like a type of permission and it has been blessed by the Buddha. So let us bow and be gratefulness and thank you to the Buddha And he says he is only a servant of the enlightenment, a type of figurehead. The service is to 
shower you, he shares, that you may gain your own credibility, your own functionality, your inner leader. And trust the I that you are, the I am that you are here to be, and that you have always been and return to as you are the I inside the malastrome of the hurricane This deep and unabidingly accepting and loving, knowing, pure source, empty, full, always beginning never ending. Peace. Here we are together. listening to all the world together, bridging our heart streams, our veins, our blood, growing as a great tree around this earth, feeding all the resources of this earth reinventing, re-nourishing, recalibrating, rebirthing. And in this great experiment, this project that we are on together, let us call this force of creation through to all that humanity has unconsciously, consciously ruined or destroyed, corrupted or inflamed, that we may bring our great new beginning in the form of a flame of innocence that grows in our hearts as streaming flames and moves through all the corridors, the portals, the vortexes, the chakras of the earth, the waterways, the ley lines, the dragon lines, the song lines, as we call in the creation mothers now, the creation serpents, we wrap our love, our flames around this earth with mother Gaia, mother Gaia Ma,
looking deeply into the violet magma in the center of the earth. The creation of all new beginnings. Let us pour our flame into Mother Gaiama's violet flame, our puzzle pieces. Into this great cosmic soup pot of creation. Sending your heart beams, your hopes, your dreams, whatever they are now, for peace, for unity, for collective listening. Bringing everything that you are now, that you have received. That we call in together as if a giant union consciousness. And if you would like to join with collective light language, I invite you now for a short burst of our flames, our heart beams, or you may silently bring these blessings to everything that you wish using the power, the dynamic force of our consciousness, our planetary service. Buijalo na te, guatalo na he, yayo, yayo. Halo ne he, yayo, huma, yahu maha alu, alu, saluna, se chana tu maguihi, alu, tauna, yashina, siako, ishoi, ayu mao, ye, jau, tau makatina, tu, ma, sa. received in gratefulness and into your hearts and if you feel so pulsed cross your own arms over your hearts like Egyptian style bringing it all in feeling this great satisfaction that you have participated you have shown up you have been guided that you have moved through the old and into the new that you have come here to be. You have returned to your own star seed, your way shower, your bridge of light, your rainbow bridge, your magical fay, your enlightened consciousness. And that all these gifts are continuing to work within you to guide you home along your path, your purpose. And this greater holiness. As we bow and thank Lord Buddha, Kuan Yin, Pegasus, the she, the fey, your star being, all the star beings all the enlightened ones, the medicine, 
and this journey that you have chosen, that we have chosen, and this journey that we are part of together. Being grateful that we as the surrogates may bring this to others to lay it, to seed it into the earth now in the new contracts for the new earth as the new earth tribe. Blessed be your new earth shaman, your star seed, your work upon this world. We love you, we need you, and we are here for you. We'll be offering rainbow seeds. It's a new seven session journey to receive these rainbow seeds of your purpose. You can look on my website, www.anjalia.com. I would love to have any feedback or sharings if you feel so pulsed. And you can Facebook me or Email me at kate.loy, L-O-Y-E, at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kate. That was beautiful. So welcome. My honor. Mm -hmm.